It is my privilege and honor to introduce my friend and the next mayor of Colorado Springs, John Sanders. Tonight, the citizens of Colorado Springs have spoken loud and clear. You hit some potholes on your way down here, right? And they want more good jobs in Colorado Springs. In short, they want to see Colorado Springs moving again, and as their new mayor, I'm ready to take on the challenge. Folks, I am very honored and humbled by the level of political support that I have received from the citizens of Colorado Springs in this election. I had very capable opponents in both the April 7th election and in this runoff. And I want to congratulate Mary Lou Makepeace for the campaign she waged and to thank her for her many contributions to Colorado Springs in both government and in the nonprofit community. We were successful in this election because we ran a good campaign and because we had a great campaign team. And let me ask them to come up here and join me on the stage. My campaign manager, Kit Smith. Uh, my deputy campaign manager, Katie Lally. and my energetic volunteer coordinator, Carla Hurd Price. Uh, Katie Banky from the Starboard Group should be here shortly. Momentarily. Okay. I also want to acknowledge the work of dozens of campaign volunteers who manned our campaign office, walked precincts, delivered yard signs, walked in parades, turned out for honkin' waves, including some pretty rainy honkin' waves, uh, and hosted neighborhood meet and greets. Many of you are here tonight. Thank you so much. I also want to thank the more than 1,200 people uh, who donated financially to my campaign. I'm very grateful to all of you for that support. Janet and I are pleased tonight to be joined by many longtime friends who have spanned the decades with us and contributed so much to our lives, and by new friends who share my vision and passion for our great city. Our daughter Allison and her husband Mark are here. That's frankly a reminder to me that the best job I ever had was father to Allison and Kate. Our daughter Kate is on temporary duty with the Navy in Rhode Island and uh, we just uh, communicated with her through FaceTime. <laughs> but on occasion such as this folks, I am most grateful for the love and support of my wife, Janet. When Janet and I were married a few years ago, uh, we certainly did not know that our life together would include such meaningful public service opportunities and the ways in which our lives would be enriched by those opportunities. In the course of my career, I've had challenging jobs that have taken me from our local courthouse to the United States Supreme Court, from working for a local landscaping company 
to working for the President of the United States. And now, as Mayor of Colorado Springs, I'm taking on another very significant challenge. Through it all, Janet's not only been a great partner to me, but she has an incredible record of public service and community volunteerism in her own right. Uh, but folks, this is very important. I want to assure you that Janet does a great job of keeping me humble and well-grounded. <laughs> Why, just tonight, when those election returns popped up, I turned to her and said, Janet, in your wildest dreams, did you ever think I'd be mayor of Colorado Springs? And she quickly replied, John, you were never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not my first election to public office, but what transpired tonight has very special significance for me, and I want to tell you why. My parents, Pat and Bill Southers, were married in Detroit, Michigan in 1936. Five years later, on December 8, 1941, the day after Pearl Harbor was attacked, my father enlisted in the United States Army. A few months later, he found himself getting off a train in Colorado Springs, having been sent to the newly created Camp Carson for basic training before going to North Africa. It was the first time he'd been west of the Mississippi River. Just before he went overseas, my mother came to visit him in Colorado Springs, and they spent several days at the Buffalo Lodge in Manitou Springs. This is early 1942. It was then that they decided that Colorado Springs was the most beautiful place in America. And then if my father survived the war, they would move here. And that's exactly what they did in 1946. Five years later, in November of 1951, they adopted me when I was three weeks old. Now, my parents died when I was relatively young. My father when I was 15, my mother when I was 22. But they instilled in me the values I would need to succeed in life, and they also instilled in me their love for Colorado Springs. If my parents were alive today, I hope they would be pleased what Colorado Springs has become, and I'm confident they would be very pleased that tonight their son was elected mayor of this great city. In this election, I received 68%, uh, I received the support of 68% of the voters. But moving forward, frankly, I'll need the support of all the residents of Colorado Springs. Prayers would be most welcome as well. People that can fix potholes would also <laughs> be welcome. Our city faces major challenges. And these challenges must be confronted. We must begin to repair our deteriorating roads and stormwater systems. And we must create a dynamic that will lead to new job creation in the Pikes Peak region. It will take the mayor, the city council, and the citizens of Colorado Springs all working together to resolve these challenges. I'm optimistic about our future, and I hope that you are too. Colorado Springs is full of dedicated, talented people, and there are good things taking place all around us. I ask all of you to express renewed pride in Colorado Springs by looking for ways you can use your time and talents to improve our city. I'm confident that working together, 
we can make Colorado Springs an even better place to live, work, and play. So tonight we celebrate, and tomorrow we begin to address our challenges with collaboration, creativity, and hard work. Again, I offer my sincere thanks to the citizens of Colorado Springs that have placed their confidence in me. I promise I will do my very best to move our great city forward. Thank you all for your support.